you guys want to run the feng shui engine effectively and optimally so i was like you know why not help you guys out as best as i can teach you how to play this character with two bars what i'm going to teach you in this video is basically legitimately like basic strings basic combos basically little setups you know stuff to just understand about feng shui engine that way you can have a better understanding of it so you can use it more in tournaments or just in matches in general so that way you know you guys can duke it out better and enjoy jury a bit more now there is a disclaimer um i'm gonna tell you guys right off the bat i know this is gonna be shocker but i don't know every single combo or every single setup or anything jury is still getting developed to this day and you know there's way more creative people that understand the feng shui way better than me may not put in your favorite combo or setup or whatever or how long the combo is um you know i just don't know everything so you know this super is still uh like really like really freedom form and everything so people are gonna create crazy new setups in the future so you know i'm not gonna have everything but anyways let's get into it so let's talk about the basic of feng shui kind of what it does in a nutshell because i feel like most people probably can't understand it at the very level one level so here it is so feng shui basically allows any and all jury dramas to be chained together or combo and they actually turn into special cancel moves uh crouching light kick is actually just a standalone button and you need to like chain it or combo into crouch jab or stand jab in order to work to combo um but in feng shui the special cancel will normal so now she can do something like this technically even though it doesn't combo but you know, it's still a thing that she can do. You can also uh, kind of combo into overhead, like on hit or block. It almost feels like she has infinite pressure, essentially. And especially if you watch a lot of videos or you watch a lot of streams or my stream uh, and others, you kind of see like, oh my God, this feels so like impossible to stop or something like that. And then also when comboing certain buttons, their property change. So for example, if you were to do a combo and end with crouching fierce, it actually juggles now. So it's actually a juggle that you can come onto the air with. So for example, you could do something like this. And all of a sudden, because you're feng shui, it kind of changes how she can see different buttons and everything. So that's kind of like a little bit of the basics of feng shui. Also, another fun fact is that if you hold the button while she's doing animation, she'll do the dash reminiscent of Visco 1. So you kind of get remember of... Uh, you know a little dash you actually get a good amount of damage from it and you can go into combos from that and you can take corner care you can do whatever you want with it because you are definitely uh quite advantageous on hit it all depends on what you want so now that we got the kind of the gist of what she can do so let's talk about you know some simple combos and whatnot and block strings and we can go on from there all right so here are some basic chain combos to showcase what you can do as a jury player and this is off of let's say you do have uh an activation already happening and it's right activating you kind of get like a straight hit this is kind of what you can do so now that you know a little bit of simple combos with jury like basic ones um i kind of want to add a little bit of spice to them if this is too easy to make them a bit more deadly keep in mind some of these may have different timings so if you don't get them right away don't worry it these are really like figure out your own pace type combos so these are definitely combos you can mess with on your own and figure out if you want to optimize them or change them up however you want to so here you go All right, so now that we know about, you know, how to convert off of a hit in feng shui, let's talk about block strings in feng shui. Now, uh, feng shui block strings are quite uh, potent, but they also do have a bit of a weakness because while the opponent is blocking, uh, you can change normal to drain, drain and dry gauge, as you can see right here. If I have gaming sets such as block all, you know, I'm just draining dry gauge, you know, it's normal that. However, if the opposing opponent chooses to drive reversal, then it may be hard to try and add offense while Feng Shui is active. For example, I could just have him uh, 
right now and just uh, drive reversal. And now he's down two bars, but it definitely takes away drive gate or takes away the offensive chance for jury. So it definitely, depending on the character, it could be annoying to try and get started, especially if they're a turtle type char uh, character and player. So keep in mind of that when using Feng Shui. The big positive of Feng Shui, however, is that especially if the opponent is in burnout, it's really hard for them to kind of like attack you while it's happening. So for example, this right here, this sequence, I'm, all right, I'm plus one. And this is a basic sequence. I can just end it sometimes with like something like this and I'm still plus one. So depending on your buttons, uh, because in this game for Feng Shui, oddly enough, they actually don't um, make the buttons more negative as you chain more. And that was the thing in five where like the more you chain, the more negative you are. So for example, you can do like a very common block string to end off or come button to end off is like any button and do stay medium punch because in burnout you're plus six. And on a regular, if they're not burned out, you're plus two. So it's a pretty good button to end off on. So with this, you can know you can go low, you can go, uh, you can maybe do like something like this, go high a little bit. It all depends. And because over is also plus one, you can actually just kind of do this, frame trap them, and keep looping it. So uh, her pressure in uh, burnout is quite strong. Um, but I'm gonna show you guys some simple uh, kind of like block strings in a nutshell what you can do this can apply both without burnout and in burnout so it all depends on what you want so these are some things to mess with that you may see some trade players do So there's just a few block strings that could work on paper, uh, but it would be less effective when I drive gauge, but still very useful in general. So be sure to mess around what sequence you want to choose with, with Feng Shui, uh, because it never hurts to be very creative with it. Um, and you know, you may create something better than what's happening in this video, but this video just serves as a basic standpoint and for you to mess around with. So these combos that are coming up are quite hard, if not difficult. However, these combos, you know, they're still possible for anyone to do. Um, these combos you may see a lot in tournaments and pro players do so if it takes you a while to understand what we're doing or what's happening it's completely understandable it took me a while but eventually it may come to you um, but just keep in mind also some of this footage is not my own I will link in the description of the post that uh, my homie m2 cloud on Twitter has given me so if you want to peep this for yourself feel free to and you know, yeah hopefully you guys enjoy these little combos But yeah guys that was some of the feng shui stuff uh that i have seen or i've made or 
I've literally just copied from people. I'll be honest, I'm a copycat. But yeah, hopefully this gives you kind of a basic idea of feng shui and how it works. Keep in mind that it is a super that, you know, if you don't use it effectively, it can seem sometimes useless to uh, have, but on hit or sometimes even on block it is very useful. And there's still, I mean, setups still created to this day. I mean, it's probably still gonna be set up like two years from now. So who knows what feng shui could be like in the near future. But hopefully, you know, this first year Street Fighter 6 will help you improve on your jury and try and get you like a little bit of knowledge about the character because level two definitely was probably a stepping stone that some people haven't crossed yet. Um, but yeah, if you enjoyed this video, let me know if you guys want to see more of this. Um, I may do some of these in the future. Uh, I'm not sure what else people will be interested in as far as jury learning. So feel free to let me know. But anyways, guys, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. So.